is running out, and we got to go long, really long, to get these jobs back. A Hill Mary pass in order for an economy that he says increasingly looks like it doesn't have a prayer. The former Vikings great and small business great joining me right now. So, friend, you're saying time to mix up the plays here and do something big, right? Well, I think this. I think that we've got to address the problems that are on the table. This spending we cannot continue to sustain. We need job growth. We cannot cut our way uh, out of this demise that we're in. And the job growth comes from the small business entrepreneur. And I, that small business entrepreneur is threatened with higher taxes. We already have more regulations. Health care's cost is 25% more. So we're stymied here. Plus the fact we need leadership to solve problems. We don't have any leadership. We don't have any voice here. This president just doesn't get it. You know, in, in football, you know, quarterbacks, there are just a few great quarterbacks every year. Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, Drew Brees, they get it. Most don't get it. And he's an intellectual elite, this president of ours. He comes from Harvard and bright, engaging person, but he doesn't get it. The job growth in this country will come from the private sector. No, and no, 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 no. I don't want to get into that. I know you're, no, I know you're <laughs> right on, on all those specifics. But I, what I want to address is the urgent need to, to sort of throw out the playbook and, and try some different plays. I mean, you, you know, you're, you're one of the greatest players of all time. Never won a Super Bowl, yeah. but who cares? That's fine. <laughs> it's a detail. Who but cares? I'm, I'm kidding. But, you know, my thing with, with your friend is that I remember as a kid, uh, not a kid, mind you, a younger adult watching you scramble, watching you just pull out something out of nowhere yeah. and winning games that were unwinnable. And, and I, I think when you've got a losing game and you're looking around, you're saying, well, I'm going to have to try some different things. This administration is not. So if you had your druthers, what are a couple of things you'd like to see this president do immediately to shake things up? Okay. That's a very good question. And I think this president should show leadership. He should get 30 Democrats, 30 Republicans in a room and say, we've got problems to address, and, and one of them is job growth. And let's get the best thinking we can from all of you people that are bipartisan and show some leadership by bringing them together and bring about some changes. And one change. That's another get off meeting, the Fran, the I, That's sector. another meeting. We've got meetings at the end yet. Yeah, but he but he needs the input because I don't believe he knows what to do, and and he needs good thinking there. But if I give him a suggestion. Less regulations. Get off the back of the of the entrepreneur. Stop talking about uh, uh, tax uh, taxes on, on on the top two percent, which goes right after the entrepreneur, who's the person who's going to uh, provide the job growth that we need in this country. And we need we need him to be supportive and come out clearly in favor of supporting job growth through the private sector. But part of that would involve swallowing his pride a little bit and acknowledging that his opponents might be right that if you're going to mix things up. Put tax cuts, the things that you harangued, yep. uh, on the table and, and suffer the consequences, but celebrate the results. Well, then he, then, he, then he will be morph into what he is today, a politician and not a leader. A leader doesn't care whether he gets elected next, uh, in two years or not. He but cares he does about that America politically, and about he's a politician and a leader. He's, he's, he's acknowledging, no, no. look, I, I could change this mid-course. I could pull a Tarkenton and pull this game out. Well, it, it won't get pulled out with all the good work that people are doing with reducing the deficit and so forth. That's great stuff. But it won't be pulled out unless the president of the United States leads and shows leadership and leads rather than be a politician and try to do what he needs to do to get elected in two more years. Fran, it's always a pleasure. Uh, you're one of the greats, my friend. Thank you very much. Fran Targenden. Thank you. Speaking of which, by the way, on this whole uh, debt wagon circling, son of a...